Bosch has come out with some 2023 updates that we are going to take you guys through right now real quick so you can know what to expect on your Bosch e-bikes in 2023. Let's check it out. So the main system we're gonna be talking about is the newest system from Bosch, the Bosch Smart System. A lot of our customers have talked about how big those displays have been, the new Kiox 300 displays, and 300 being you know, kind of a higher uh, level. So guess what? Bosch just came out with the Kiox 100 display, Ooh. which is a little bit smaller. It goes right up front to replace that 300 display. And instead of being color, it is all black and white, kind of like that Purion that you've had. Uh, for a while. So basically, yeah, like an updated Pyreon, which is good because I mean, I like the Pyreon because it's sort of out of the way. So it seems like it serves the same purpose as a Pyreon. It stays out of the way, it's smaller, maybe a little less information, but like a lot of times you don't need all that information. Exactly. Yeah. And it's all still sorted in the Bosch Smart System app that you buy Flow app to, presumably. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is just gonna be a little bit more of a analog version of the Kiox 300. Which I think people, yeah, like Hector was saying, have been asking for because, you know, the Kiox 300 can be pretty big, especially for mountain bikers. Um, I think it's great for commuters, but mountain bikers might prefer something uh, like the Kiox 100. Right. And st staying on that topic of displays, we're also looking at a smaller system. So it's called the System Controller and the Mini Remote. So if you can imagine if that Nyon, the old Nyon display, or even your current Kiox 300 remote on your left hand side, it is now much smaller, so it's just an up down uh, with a press and hold for light and, a, and like an enter button or a return button so you can scroll through the menus. And that's pretty much it. Uh, also, getting rid of that display. So you can get rid of the Kiox 300 or 100 and have a small LED controller. Yeah, the cool thing about this is that a lot of frame manufacturers are gonna be able to embed this in the frame. So there are ways for you to upgrade later if you wanted to go something super minimalist like this new display and controller, but you'll have to install it somehow with a third party peripheral on the frame or on the, or on the handlebar. So I think the other big update that I'm really excited about personally is the fact that uh, there's gonna be a lot less cabling, a lot less going on in your cockpit because mm -hmm. all these systems are going to be connected via Bluetooth right correct okay <laughs> i guess that one's as simple as, yeah as simple as that so basically yeah less less going on in the on the cockpit there is always good so bluetooth connections all around and uh you are this is going to be april may they're saying yeah we're looking at an april may uh full release so. 2023 for that cool let's move into the next thing so e-bike security is always top of mind for e-bike owners and I feel like every time I've been to, like, to Germany and seen stuff that's coming out in Europe, there's always more security features. But with this update in America, we have something called the e-bike alarm. You want to take us through that? Yes. So the e-bike alarm is coming with the connect module. So the connect module is going to be this small little peripheral that you'll install to your smart system motor. And with that, you're gonna have advanced functionalities like this alarm system that is pretty cool. You're gonna be able to lock your bike or you're gonna be able to sound an alarm if someone's trying to mess with it. It's a really cool advanced system. I think the really nice thing about this e-bike alarm too is there's a lot of automatic activation. So basically when you turn your bike off, presumably it's you know locked up or maybe it's in your garage, the e-bike alarm is already gonna come on automatically. You don't even have to think about it. And then when it comes back, your bike comes back on again when you turn it on. Uh, that alarm turns off, so you don't have like a, a running car alarm situation where randomly your car alarm's just going. So auto mode is one of the things that I'm probably the most excited about. Um, basically, you know, this is something that I feel like EMTB mode and uh, even like Tour Plus modes that came out this year, it's just been missing, but this new auto mode, it really has like all those features put into one. So basically I was riding this on the road going like, you know, 17, pretty, pretty close to like the you know, class one limit. Yeah and uh, you know, hit, hit a corner, which you know, you're gonna have to slow down, but like, you kinda didn't even have to slow down. I was still able to like, maintain speed at like 16 miles per hour going into this corner. Then there was a hill, uh, and I didn't even have to, yeah, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to shift or anything. I still maintained, after a corner where I had to slow down, it got like right back up to like 17, 18 miles per hour like immediately, which was really cool. I also like, on that hill, switched it into turbo just to see if it would be harder. Uh, and it was like, so like basically it was somehow like this auto mode is like, seems to be more powerful than turbo even. But then I got to ride it on trails with a lot of ups and downs too. We rode for like four hours on this auto mode and it's just, it was just like maintaining the same speed that I wanted to be maintaining the whole time. It's a really cool new function and I think it's like a really like 
I don't know. It, it's like I don't know. Yeah, it's like the 2050 version of EMTB mode. I guess is how I would describe it. It's really cool. Um, but we've also got some motor updates. What we got? Yeah. So this year, the update for Performance Line Motors is that it's going to jump up from 65 newton meters of torque to 75 newton meters of torque. Oh. So you're going to get a lot more torque out of those basic, or I shouldn't say basic, but just your more midline uh, Bosch motors. Yeah. So basically, that's the power you were getting out of the top of the line motors two years ago, which. I always like I always compare to those motors, maybe because that's like when I kind of started in the you know in the e-bike industry. But those were so powerful, like 75 newton meters is a ton. Right. Um, it'll be interesting too if they see they keep like their quiet nature as well. Those yeah, yeah. because if they can do 75 newton meters as quietly as the 65 newton meter ones, I think that's huge. Oh, so yeah. we'll yeah. see about that. But we'll let you guys know what else we got. Almost silent motors. Yeah. Is what they're saying. Right. That's yeah. I mean, be cool. So the new Speedline motors are also gonna come with magnesium casing. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter as well for those electric bikes that are mainly for road riding or even gravel riding for uh, class three. That will be 28 miles an hour with magnesium casing motors. That's great. E-Cargo, so the E-Cargo line of motors. So they're all gonna be smart system compatible as well. And they're gonna give you a boost of up to 400% of what you're giving power. So you're gonna get all that power, all that um, torque for those cargo, the heavier bikes. Uh, we know we're gonna be carrying a lot more nowadays. A lot of people have been replacing cars and getting cargo bikes. We've sold quite a few this year already. And these new motors that are compatible with the BS uh, system or the Bosch Smart system uh, are now going to give you a lot more power and torque. Uh, yeah, these e-cargo motors are something. Yeah, are, are uh, you know Europe got them again a while ago, so it's nice to see those coming to those to the states, mm -hmm. um, especially yeah again with the, with the rise of popularity of these e-cargo bikes, and I think it'll help drive popularity too. Yeah, yeah. And then some really uh, you know uh, I, I think huge but also easy to explain updates are first of all the new e-bike battery. They're expanding the, the field of batteries, essentially. What right. do we got? So now we have power packs, right? So not only the power tubes, mm -hmm. so we have power pack. And they're going to be at 545 watt hours and 725 watt hours. So we're looking at, you know, a pretty sizable power pack, but much more range compatible with the new Bosch Smart system. So basically, this is a, an expansion of the Bosch Smart system, so another expansion of the Bosch Smart system. Again, just more versatility. Um, not everybody needs these huge battery packs, especially if you, you know, you're going a limited amount of miles a day. If you're commuting or something like that, that 545 is going to be fine for you probably. Yeah. And then it's nice to see also 725 is a massive battery capacity in a power pack, which uh, we have not seen yet. Right. And we have a lot of uh, bicycle manufacturers right now that are not necessarily refusing to, but they're just the way they design their frames don't, they cannot accommodate those new 750 watt hour battery. The power packs, tube. The power tubes. Yeah. So they are coming up with a 500 watt hour power tube and a 625 watt oh, hour cool. power tube. So you're gonna have all three sizes now, all compatible with the Bosch Smart System. And like some of our uh, manufacturers like Gazelle, how they currently install a 500 watt hour ba battery power tube, you're gonna be able to get a piggyback and that's where that power pack comes cool. in, in yeah. handy. So now you can have two batteries. So a total of about 1,045 watt hours uh, for technology coming forward. So similar to some of the you know, the other systems that we're able to piggyback, but again, just an expansion of the size you can do essentially. I also think it'll be cool like with the 500 watt hour power tube, I'll be interested to see that combined with the mag casing, kind of 75 newton meters, like you could almost do like a lightweight EMTB, but with like full power, which would be super yep. dope. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, companies try to pull that off. And then the final update, which is also pretty easy to explain, is you're basically getting, you know, e shifting is huge. It's going to be more and more huge the, you know, the more the e bike industry develops. Um, so you're getting just more, you know, compatibility with more e shifting systems. Yeah, yeah. DI2 roll off, electric roll off. Um, and Violo as and well. Violo, yeah. yeah. So just more, yeah, more compatibility with those, which is always great. Cross compatibility is, you know, uh, I think a lot of the the companies can be pretty closed. They want you using your system, their system completely. So it's nice to see kind of, uh, yeah, branching out a little bit and partnering with these companies because yeah. e shifting's great. Love to see it. Love to ride that stuff. So another thing that we don't have a ton of information on, we just got all this information days ago, by the way. So, so uh, we've been digging in and just kind of figuring out uh, the coolest updates for you guys. Is the, the ABS though, so the automatic braking system. This is something that Bosch has been developing for years. I got to try it at uh, Eurobike, geez, it was 2019, I think. 
and it was already really good. So I hope they just like come full out with it, but it sounds like they're gonna be starting with it on cargo bikes um, and then expanding it out. But it, again, like when I use it, it already worked really well. Um, so I can't imagine, you know, if, if they're still updating it from there, it's gonna be awesome when it does come out. So hopefully we'll be seeing some more of that in 2023 as well. Well, thanks for watching you guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see these updates uh, kind of roll out in real time. I'm sure we'll be doing videos on all these systems as they come out. So hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe for sure so that you don't miss out on any other e-bike news, updates, or tech tips. And until next time, enjoy the ride.